<clears throat> ah, look, fat don't fly, but lean meat gets you elite. Dunk Tip Tuesday. Yeah. All we do is talk. Dunk Tip Tuesday. Boy, you don't want to chunk. Dunk Tip Tuesday. Yo, my bird is going up. Dunk Tip Tuesday. And I do it for the love. Dunk Tip Tuesday. You know I do it for my subs. Dunk Tip Tuesday. And I can never get enough. Dunk Tip Tuesday. And I ain't never giving up. Dunk Tip Tuesday. Let's get right into it. Happy Dunk Tip Tuesday. I gained 15 pounds and six inches on my vert. Those are the numbers, but here's the thing. Coming back from a hamstring injury, I let myself lean down. I tried to get super healthy. I didn't want to continue lifting upper body to get super big without doing anything athletic. I was recovering. So there's three keys to this transformation for the past two months that really helped me along my journey. And I'm going to show you the dunks from this past weekend coming soon, but I want to explain them first. So let's go. Hit the subscribe, hit the buttons. I love when you hit the buttons. It gives me so much freaking energy. I can feel everyone and it literally helps me out tremendously so go smash them smash everything click the buttons all right click them so what's good i'm 510 have been this entire time hasn't changed and my videos are all about inspiring you to create your reality live in the quantum world and just do whatever you want in this human existence and i document my dunk journey been dealing with a hamstring injury since 2019, finally getting over it, and this last little bit I tried to recover was me doing nothing. So I slimmed down. I'm a little nuts when it comes to health. It's my addiction for sure, and I don't even like to eat. So when I wasn't jumping, which is my calibration for training, I don't even really like to eat. I err on the side of eating less so I don't get overweight. And I know that may sound insane, but I wasn't jumping. I wasn't doing any running. I wanted to really let my hamstring completely rest. I wasn't even stretching. So I said, you know what? I'm going to get as lean as possible or just barely eat. And I dropped down to 167 easily. And also, when it comes to vert, when you're not practicing, when I finally started practicing again, which is that little clip you saw, I started super, super gradual for a few reasons. One is your tendons take longer than your muscles to develop, so it's very easy to develop jumper's knee, which I had for two years, and now I'm bulletproof, so ask me any questions about that. And I have videos on that, so search those. I have videos on everything. Search my name and any dunk-related topic and ask any question you want below. So in some recent videos starting in about May, you can see my dunk progression going with very, very slow approach jumps just because I couldn't handle the speed and I didn't want to use incorrect technique. And when you add speed and add variables and try to jump with adrenaline, you get out of your mind, at least I do, and I start jumping incorrectly, which is what I've done in the past, which I wanted to avoid. Okay, so number two, in my experience from 2011 till now, I've tried so many different things to jump higher. I've had a lot of success. And one of those things was getting as super tiny as possible. I thought the lighter I was, the higher I could fly. So I wanted to shrink my upper body did it work? So then the next thing I tried was, let me see if I can continuously get bigger as I'm jumping higher, and that's when I actually jumped my highest ever earlier last year. So in May of this year, I was 167.8, I think it was. And now in this video, in this dunk day, when I woke up, I weigh myself the same time every day. And I highly recommend you track your weight, track your calories, tracking, track with a whoop, free whoop for you in my bio if you check it out. Track as much data as your body as you can. It's only going to help you make progress. So with that, on this day, I was 182.2 pounds, a little thick, but I felt great and I had to push through. So you'll see that in this session. And I'll also break down that session a little bit so you can see what I'm looking forward to and the key takeaways from that session and why I'm super pumped to jump higher than ever. In short, I jump better as a shorter dunker with more muscle on my body. And lastly, the third key is jumping is my focus, which is the hardest thing to explain, but the most important part of dunk training. So first things first is what I mean by jumping is my focus is no matter what I do, no matter what aspect I'm training, whether it's cardio, whether it's strength, whether it's speed, I am pushing myself to jump higher. So I have to get to know my body, understand what it feels like when I'm jumping. Am I exploding my very hardest? and I'm maxed out my speed and I feel like I just need more power to produce through the floor to propel me upwards? Or do I feel sluggish, slow, and strong, but I'm not agile? So that's what I want you guys to take away from today's video is that everybody needs speed and strength. Those are the two pillars. And just for a quick overview of a beginners to intermediate, a lot of you can just jump and do plow metrics and max out that speed for a while and do light lifting. And way down the line, you could start heavy lifting and doing deep squats and deep 
deep deadlifts and really build a big, strong strength foundation. But other than that, jumping is the focus and the art of training is understanding your body and getting to know how to get the muscles to respond, grow the way you want to, and perform the way you want to. And that is the hardest skill that I am loving the journey of and also attempting to master. And that mastery never ends. Talking about the mastery asymptote, we're getting into today's podcast. That's a whole other story. Check it out if you want to. But it's a never-ending journey, but if there's one thing I want you to take away from today's video, it is understanding your, your body and also believing in yourself, understanding you're going that way, trusting the process when you have those feelings in your body that I need to get faster, I need to get stronger, and then you're putting in the work, you may start to falter in the other areas. For example, if you're trying to get stronger but you, and you lose a little bit of that agility, understand that you're, you're working towards a long-term goal and you're working towards that and you're on your way. So if you can stay mindful in that, that is the key. That that's how you make long-term progress, and I'm excited to take you along my journey. So let's get into the dunks. Let's go. Woo! So let's get into the dunk sessions. Yesterday's session was fantastic. It was a breakthrough session where I had a great upper body day the day before, felt swollen, felt big, felt like I was wearing a weight vest. And I love those days because it makes it hard to jump in a way where I have to kind of fight through that resistance, but if I have good technique and jumping technique, it feels like it's only improving my jumping, which I love. It's using all that newfound meat to explode. So if you've been following my journey the last couple sessions, I finally added some speed, I finally got aggressive. Those things are not easy to do when dunking, they're a skill in themselves. Jumping requires max effort energy to explode your hardest, so those things take time to really build up. So with those things in the works, plus an upper body, I combined those two and I felt amazing yesterday and it took a lot mentally to really break through and push myself to that new level. So here are those dunks.
The highlights were that backboard dunk on the 9-10 side because I really extended, still finished the dunk, didn't really smash or anything, but I can see myself really pushing hard with a slow, sluggish, heavy feeling day. That's great for me. Now the next day, which is actually today, I went to the gym thinking, you know what? I'm gonna be beat up from yesterday. I'm just gonna get some blood flow, maybe shoot around, get my body moving, but try to stay away from impact from my knees and my body because that was a lot. I put my body through a lot yesterday, mentally and physically just pounding my body and I need to recover and blood flow is good to help expedite recovery. I played a pickup game, got a little smoked by some young kids. It's okay. My game is getting there. But also I felt great. Everything felt amazing. I was sweating and I just tried a couple jumps purposely didn't do full approach because I didn't want to overdo it. And I, there was no way of really understanding how much to overdo it again, because yesterday's session was still in my body. Like I was still recovering from that. So I just made sure to work, work on a couple drop steps, got one fantastic drop step that just is so hype because on a bad day after a beat up, day. I felt super natural and it felt like a fantastic solid jump. So I'm pumped. And then the one foot as well just felt super effortless. But I, again, I can't handle the speed. So my one step one foot jump was the same as my full approach. So I'm like, I'm not even going to try. I'm just going to count it. AKA just not practice it today because I'm not there. And what I mean by that is when you're going to train, it's like hitting a bullseye. You have to try to have all these things line up at once. And it's hard to do everything in one day. So you gotta pick your battles and that's the hardest part about training, so. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Excited to have Dunk Camp. It's like Dunkland. I think Jay Clark said it's Disneyland for dunkers. So I'm gonna have so much fun there. Just gonna have some fun. Not really gonna try to break any records. Just gonna have the most fun I possibly can. But on this channel, I am trying to break my own record. So thank you for staying tuned. Ask any question you have. My goal is to help you reach any goal that you want in any way, especially when it comes to jumping and dunking, because I believe anything's possible. Anyone can dunk and let's go. Click the buttons, do whatever you gotta do. Click the buttons, leave me a weird comment. I'll read them, whatever.